Well, you know, we really cannot complain about this weather lately. It's just been great, other than, of course, the Thanksgiving Day. But, you know, yeah. it cleared up, and the weekend was great, the and the rest of the week. The weekend was perfect. Yeah, it looks like this weekend coming up looks to be pretty good, too, with all the activities yeah. and festivities taking place. Uh, looks like uh, things are looking good. Now, we, do, uh, we are looking at some cooler air, some colder air coming our way. But not for a while. The long-range model is indicating that we may see a trough of low pressure developing. Here's the Casey Key webcam uh, showing what's been going on today. And again, uh, pretty nice weather. Look at this gorgeous sunset uh, you'll see right here in just a little bit. Uh, this is just after sunset. And boy, the clouds uh, were around causing a beautiful photo that you see right there. Now, as far as the forecast goes, we are looking at uh, generally fair skies uh, for the day. Here's a nice picture, too, from Raymond from Lido Beach. Some high cirrus around this one from Holmes Beach. Drew getting this one. Uh, you see some uh, cumulus clouds there. And this one from Nokomis right there at the jetty. Sherry, appreciate that photo, Sherry, who's also watching right now our behind scenes shot um, uh, from our Facebook. Uh, high pressure dominating over the southeast. We're getting this easterly component. Now, this east wind is picking up some moisture and bringing in a few showers along the east coast. Uh, but they're not making it all the way over here. And this down to our south will stay there. We're not looking for that to move back in our picture. We'll see a chance for an isolated, mainly inland shower tomorrow. But we're not expecting any significant rainfall at all for the foreseeable future. As I mentioned, one or two of these lone showers may make its way all the way over to our coast later in the day on Wednesday. But currently, it's clear. It's nice, uh, 70 degrees and the humidity pretty high because the temperature and the dew point is so close to one another. East to northeast winds at 8 and the pressure continues to rise. It's way up there too and we'll, we'll do so tomorrow. 83 the high, 4 degrees shy of the record, 87 and uh, 76 is our normal. So we were well above it. 62 was the morning low and no rainfall to report today. It looks like we'll end this month on a dry note. Uh, we're not expecting any showers or any accumulation coming our way. So uh, for the most part, just a quarter of an inch of rain for the entire month of November. It's just, it has been nice. I'll look for generally sunny skies throughout the day. Now, there will be some fog around this in the morning. That fog should burn off, though. Temperatures will warm above average once again in the low 80s, even some mid-80s in places like Arcadia as well as in the parish and uh, into Lakewood Ranch. could see a high right around 85 degrees. I mentioned a few clouds and some fog developing tomorrow morning right around 6. That fog burns off, and then we see... Uh, generally sunny skies throughout the day. There are those spotty showers I mentioned, a sprinkle or two, not out of the question. And then again on uh, Thursday, look for beautiful weather. There could be some sea fog developing way offshore here, according to this model, with just a few showers developing along the east coast. Now, as I mentioned, the long range forecast will eventually show a more meridional flow, which means the jet stream will drop down over the eastern third of the nation. But that is just not happening right now. There is a weak cold front progressing through the southern plain states, bringing some clouds and showers there. And they're still getting rainfall up near uh, Washington and northern portions of Oregon. And look at this storm. This storm has been amazing over the last uh, 12 hours or so. It's produced winds up to 90 miles an hour and 50 foot waves there. Well, current temperatures into the 30s over the northern plains and northern Rockies. It's 58 in Cleveland now, 50 in Washington, 44. And uh, now again into uh, the nation's capital. For boaters tomorrow, northeasterly winds, 10 to 15 knots will start off as uh, subsiding to 5 to 10 in the afternoon. Seas running right around 2 feet with a moderate chop out there. And the water temperature is uh, still in the 70s at 71 degrees. Beaches will see a high right around 80 degrees. Now the forecast uh, for tides upcoming, here they are on your screen. Low tide at 342 in the morning and a high tide at 902 and then sunrise at 702. Mostly fair, some patchy fog, warm conditions, a low of 65. Tomorrow, another gorgeous day, ho-hum, right? 83 degrees and mostly sunny skies, a few clouds there. And the forecast for the extended forecast calling for... 83 on Wednesday, Thursday, and a little cooler, but still above average over the weekend with beautiful sunshine expected. Jacqueline.